Joining me now here on the MMA Report, Amanska, step inside the LFA cage, LFA 66, coming on Friday night, May 10th, of course, live on Access TV. Hunter, man, I appreciate the time. Of course, we had a chance to uh, talk uh, talk to you before your last fight, which, of course, uh, a, a win, man. So uh, how's things been since uh, that fight? Oh, man, it's been great. Just, uh, just got right back to training after the last fight and just trying to keep growing day by day, so... And just ready to get back in that LFA cage one more time. So are we talking like fight on Friday, back back in the gym on Monday? Um, I I don't think I was back in the gym Monday, but I know I was out hiking and staying active, that's for sure. And Keep, keeping court- the blood flowing. <laughs> and of course, the the fight, uh, your last fight, you get the victory there in the first round, two minutes and, and fifteen seconds, and, and now you got this one uh, against Lynn Schultz. Uh, you know, Lynn's kind of you know, start zero and two, you know, puts a couple you know, a couple wins, you know, a little up and down, coming off a of no contest. Uh, it is last fight. Why, why do you like this matchup so much? Um, I, it's just another fight for me, really. Like I wasn't too concerned of who they were going to put against me. I was just like, let's just get back in that cage and just keep that cage time coming. Like It's just like wrestling season. I was like, mat time, mat time, mat time. Now I want cage time. So it's just whoever they throw at me, I'm going to work work all areas and just keep growing. How, how would you say you've grown since February <clears throat> to now? Uh, well... My jiu-jitsu is getting a lot better. I spent more time in, in the gi and just just my getting more comfortable with my stand-up and just letting my hands go a little more and just getting the right getting the right looks from the right teammates and stuff. So, In terms of letting your hands go, is that just something where you <laughs> – is it something you feel like it's not translating from the gym to fight night? Um. Yeah, I'm just not. Uh, I see openings, and I'm just not capitalizing on them. Or I just need to just trust myself a little more when I see those openings. Just let it go. It's. it's I get a little too hesitant in there, right? Or I was getting a little too hesitant in there. So that's. I think it goes with the cage time and stuff, and just letting my eyes see and my reaction go. Is that like um? I don't know. Frustrating is the right way to put it. But in terms of, like, as you sit back and you look at your your previous fights, is that, like, something that when you go back and you're just kind of assessing your own performance, you're sitting there, is that, like, the thing that bugs you? I mean, it bugs me. I mean, I guess I don't let it bug me too much, but it's when I go back and watch my fights or watch my train or my sparring videos and stuff, I'm like, I see openings, and it's just, it's just me being hesitant. So it's, but in the fight, it's, I can't complain because I'm not, I'm not getting any damage to me. So, it's, I'll take that. But I got to start getting in and out more. And yeah. And I'm guessing that's probably something the coaches there at the lab have really kind of, uh, you know, been, been harping on you about. Yeah, yeah. They're they're pushing me on it every day. They're on sparring days. They're they're telling me to let it go more. They're they're helping me a lot. So, I, I think there'll be a big transition into this next fight for it. It's gonna. That'd be good. You mentioned about putting on the gi a little more, and it seems with, with MMA fires, it's uh, it's usually one way or the other. Like some guys are like, "Look, I, I don't compete in a gi, so I really don't put it on much." But then other, I'll hear other fighters say, "You know, I really like working in the gi because it really allows me to kind of work on my techniques of advancing from one thing to another." Is there a particular reason why you said, "You know what, I won't put the gi on more"? Just uh, the technique, basically, like. With my wrestling, I could wrestle and scramble a little bit. In the gi, I got to be more patient and work technique. I can't slide. When someone has a hold of your gi, you can't just slide your arm out because you're, you're wet or sweaty. So it's just, <clears throat> and like MMA nowadays, you gotta you gotta be well rounded in all areas. So, and I, I'm not just looking to go out there and wrestle someone. I'm not just trying to put my hands on someone. I, I want to be ready in each position, especially when I. So I'm looking to be in the UFC, so I got to be ready. Is being patient tough for you inside in competition because you just want to go, go, go? Um, it was it was tough at first, but I feel I feel each fight and each training day, I'm getting a little more patient and 
my, my coaches are on me. I have close training partners that are helping me, just keeping me relaxed and my composure. Like, I, I try to scramble too much and use wrestling and, yeah. You you mentioned about, you know, the path is, is to get to the UFC. You know, how close do you think you are to that path? Um, I, I, I believe I'm pretty close. And I'm not I'm not rushing it either, so I, I, I feel like I could be a couple fights away. Two two good, two, three good wins right now, I feel I should be knocking on that door, so what do you believe your key to victory is here against Lynn? Uh, with the, the composure and just staying calm and just and just letting my openings come. I, I see he's never been finished, so so I'm not I'm not gonna go out there and be like, all right, he, he's gonna give up in these positions or he's weak here. So it's just I'm re- I'm gonna be ready to go three rounds with him and if the opening comes in the first, it comes second, whatever. Is that kind of like a, a little goal for you in this one? Is like, hey, I want to be the first guy to finish him. Oh yeah, it is. In every fight, I'm like, that's my goal. I mean, I want to go out there and put on a finish and a good performance. So, it is definitely, it's definitely in the back of my head. And if that opening comes, I'm not gonna shy away from it. And of course, uh, you know, this obviously would would push you, uh, you know, to another win on your record, remain undefeated. Have you started to to map out what you want next after this fight? Um. Yeah, uh, well, I want to go get this win and then uh, get on the contender series. That's my plan right now. So, But, of course, up first is this fight here, LFA 66, of course, live on Access TV, come on Friday night, May the 10th. Hunter, man, as always, I, I appreciate time. Of course, let me know where they can find you on social media and, of course, uh, those sponsors that are uh, helping out. Uh, well, I got Turp House, uh, La Piazza, Pizza, and then just my main training partner is the MMA lab and who else do I have a sponsor? I don't, I don't have too much sponsors right now. So <laughs> they'll definitely, so, they'll definitely come. Far. 